This lecture on cervical venous hum has been brought to you by USMLE Clinic. The only innocent heart murmur in childhood that is heard during the diastole is the cervical venous hum. Unlike other sounds heard during the diastole, it does not warrant a referral. It is best heard in the supraclavicular fossa, just lateral to the sternocleidomastoid muscle, more so on the right side than on the left. It may radiate to the upper sternal border on either side. It is heard throughout the cardiac cycle, but the diastolic component is typically louder. This helps differentiate it from a PDA, which has a louder systolic component. The systolic component of the hum has a plateau configuration, while the diastolic component has more of a diamond shape. The intensity of the murmur is usually between 1 and 3 out of 6, however, it may be louder and result in an audible pulsatile tinnitus. It has a rough or roaring-like quality to it, and a low pitch. However, during the diastole, there may occasionally be a high-pitched whine. Unlike other innocent murmurs, it is heard louder while the patient is sitting. It may be better heard with elevation of the chin and contralateral rotation of the head. Deep inspiration and hyperkinetic circulatory states, such as hyperthyroidism, can also increase the intensity of the murmur. The murmur may soften or disappear by lowering the chin and turning the head ipsilaterally. Digital compression of the internal jugular vein will instantly obliterate the murmur. If you like this flashcard and would like to have it for referencing, check out our app called USMLE Clinic. With this app, you can easily share any card with anyone, however you like. It is available both on iOS and Android platforms.